In this video, we're going to learn how to truncate a string in C. The first thing we'll do is declare a car array and store a string in that car array. So we'll have car string to create the array and then is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So here we're creating a string with the characters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The string will also end with a special null terminator character. So even though we can't see it, there's a special null terminator character after the G, and it looks like this, backslash zero. That character ends the string. If we look at the indexes that each character in the string is at, we have that A is at index zero, B is at index one, and so forth. The null terminator character is at index seven. So if we wanted to truncate this string down to the first three characters, such that the string only contained the characters a, B, C, we could insert the null terminator here. That would end the string there. The string would then only be A, B, C. So we would put the null terminator at index three. If we wanted to truncate the string down to the first five characters in the string, so we have A, B, C, D, E, then we'd have to put the null terminator here at index five, where the F is now. So what we can do to truncate the string down to the first N characters is put the null terminator at index n. So for example, we could say string at index five is equal to the null terminator character. This will actually truncate the string because it will put the null terminator character right here in place of f. Then the string will stop right here and we'll only have the first five characters in the string. Let's remove these temporary null terminator characters and put our string back to what it was before. We'll print out the string before and after inserting this null terminator character so we can see how the string is truncated. So here we'll have printf percent %s backslash n and we'll put the string. Then we'll have printf percent %s backslash n and again we'll put the string. So here we're outputting the string before and after we perform the truncation. So we can save, compile and run a program. And before we had a, b, c, d, e, f, g, but after we have a, b, c, d, e, and our string has been truncated down to the first five characters. So if we want to truncate a string down to the first n characters, all we need to do is set the character array that stores the string at the index n to the null terminator character that's going to end the string there. We could create a function to do this for example, we could have void truncate string car string and int n. So this function is called truncate string. It has a void return type because the function doesn't actually need to return anything. The function will accept the string itself as an argument, as well as the new length of the string n. So we'll copy this and paste it down here. And the function is going to be pretty simple. We'll just have string at the index n is equal to the null terminator character. And that will truncate the string. Now, just a reminder that when we pass an array to a function in C, what will actually get passed to the function is a pointer. Technically, the pointer stores the memory address of the first element in the array. And if we change that array, like we are here, by inserting the null terminator in a different position, it's going to change that array in the calling environment. So in the function that called truncate string. So let's try this out. Up here, we'll create another character array. We'll have car quote is equal to, and we'll have treat the problem, not the symptom. So this string here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 characters in this first part of the quote. Let's say we want to truncate this string down to that first part of the quote. We we'll use the truncate string function to do that. We'll have truncate string and then quote and then 17 as arguments. We'll print out the string before and after. So we'll have printf quote before percent %s backslash n and we'll put the quote here. Then we'll have printf and we'll have quote after percent %s backslash n and we'll put the quote again. So we can save, compile 
and run this. And we get that the quote before is treat the problem, not the symptom. And the quote after is treat the problem. So again, the string has been successfully truncated. Now it might not be worth it to make a function to solve this problem when we can solve the problem with one line of code anyways, but that's actually a matter of opinion. So this is how we can truncate a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.